Hello everyone, welcome to Corson Physics 2016 and now we are going to discuss part 2 of the 2016 paper. For 2016 paper, part 2 here, it says the velocity v in meter per second of an object at time t is given with the formula there minus 4 plus 2t. Round off your answer to two significant figures. Okay, number 1. Calculate the magnitude of the force F acting on the object of mass M equals 4 kilogram. Okay, so for that, the magnitude of the force, you remember that the, the formula of the force according to the Newton's second law is M times A. And this is mass and this is acceleration. Mass is already given, 4 kilogram, but the acceleration here, we could actually take the value of this from differentiation of v so a is dv over dt so that is we just differentiate that that will result into 2 right so f is 4 times 2 which is 8 newton okay and now for number 2 calculate the kinetic energy k of the object of the mass 4 kilogram and at time three second and now uh, for that you you could actually just you know uh, put the three in the v so v is minus four plus two times three which is two and the formula for the kinetic energy is half mass velocity squared so that is half times four times four right two squared yeah so this is eight Joule. Okay, and now for number three, uh, setting the initial position of x0 is 0 meters of the object at time t is 0 second, calculate the time t so that the position is at x equals 21 meters. So basically, from this equation, we have to find what is the time needed to reach 21 meters from the initial position of this. So, we have to find the equation of the distance by the velocity, we just need to integrate that. So, remember that from distance, let's say this is distance, this is v, and this is a. If you have v equation, the velocity, you want to find the acceleration, you just differentiate it. So, basically going down is differentiating, and for this case, you need to find the x, the distance equation from the velocity. So, you go up that is integration okay so from v so x is we integrate this minus 4t plus t squared plus c right but because we know that the initial position when t is 0 is 0 okay so this 0 equals 0 plus 0 plus c c is 0 therefore the equation is minus 4t plus t squared and c is 0 and now for x is 21, we find the t. We could actually, you know, apply the principle like the quadratic equation. Move the 21 to the right side. So we'll just need to factorize this. So for the factorization, you could just make that t plus 3 and t minus 7, right? So you get two t's. And you know that it is impossible for the time to be negative. So the time is 7, 7 seconds. Okay. So that is everyone for part 2. Yeah. Stay tuned for the next part and thank you for watching.